In this lesson you will learn about variables and I will teach you the most basic variable which is the boolean variable capable of storing 0 or 1. A variable is a space in the memory of our Arduino where we can put in a value or read out the value. A variable needs two things a type and a name. If you put these two together and make it a statement, it is called declaration. It reserves a space in the memory of Arduino for your variable. And based on the type, Arduino knows how much memory needs to be reserved. Variables are like storage boxes. Boolean my variable means that we need a storage box of type boolean with the name my variable. As soon as we declared our variable, we can assign a value to our variable. In this case, my variable equals high end of statement. And what it does is it searches its memory for this box. So the memory is like the storage room. It searches the storage room, grabs out the box with the name my variable and puts in high. If we ask Arduino at a later stage, what is my variable? It will grab the box from the storage room, opens it up and tells you what's inside. Our variable has the value high. And now I try to assign low. What happens is Arduino searches the box with the name my variable, grabs whatever is inside of the box, destroys it and puts in a new value. So let's try this out in the real world. I want my Arduino to digital read a pin and then save the result into a variable that we can use later. So I start with pin mode pin 4 and it is my input pull up. Serial begin with a baud rate of 9600, end of statement. So inside of our loop, I would like to declare a new variable, a boolean my measurement. And then I would like to assign digital read four to my new variable. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that you can actually combine these two lines. so that you declare the variable and then directly assign a value to it. And now I want to print my value. I want to print the content of my variable and we will add a delay of 1000 milliseconds. Let's upload it. And if we take a look at the serial monitor, I get one, one, one. And if I connect pin four, to ground, which is also on the USB connector, I get zero. So here comes your exercise. The onboard LED should turn on when pin 4 is high and turn off when pin 4 is low. But this time you should use a variable. Stop the video and solve the exercise right now. So what we need is we want pin 13, because this is the onboard LED, to be an output. We don't need serial print anymore. Instead, we want to digital write pin 13 with the value of whatever is inside my measurement. Now in this case, it doesn't make sense to use a variable. This is just for learning the concept of a variable. And it's a nice coding style to add a space here. It's not required, but recommended. As you see, I get a compilation error, expected semicolon. I don't know how often I got this. All right, looking good. Now the LED is turned on because the pull up is pulling pin four to high. And if I connect pin 4 to ground, it is turned off. Right now it reacts very slow because we have this 1000 milliseconds delay inside of our loop. 
If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or a different solution to the exercise. Thank you for watching. See you next time.